everybody and welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jess today we are bringing back the pan those eyeshadows challenge for 2023 if you guys recognize this makeup from december that's because i am filming it on the 7th of december because majority of my eyeshadow collection is here at the university house and i won't be taking all of my eyeshadow palettes very sadly back home for christmas basically i don't have all of my eyeshadows here but i have put every single eyeshadow palette that i have here at the uni house into a spreadsheet already i just need to do the other palettes from home so because i'm already here i thought that we i would generate the first four shades for this project i did a pan that palette last year and i felt like it didn't really go very well and i also felt like i was neglecting the majority of my eyeshadow collection however i feel like with this challenge i get to rotate around my palettes really well and i enjoy doing it a lot more than i have enjoyed doing the pan that palette this past year also i've done the tie up too tight on my back which is why this shoulder pad looks out of line it's not actually out of line it's just that i tied it too tight um this morning so let's just jump right on into this video so from the palettes i've already put in this spreadsheet we have 404 single eyeshadows i've taken out any eyeshadows that have already got pan in as well to avoid that rolling hence why we've got a whole new spreadsheet for 2023 we're going to be using the pretty random app again on my ipad to generate these numbers so let's get going i'm so 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 excited to see what we get number 20 let's have a look that's quite high up actually Shadow number 20 in my collection comes from the Beauty Bay Everything You Need Bright Matte Palette and this is the shade Pinky Promise. <laughs> I'm so glad that I figured this out before I finished this video because that would have really made me upset. I was so excited about the number generation guys but I've been looking at the wrong numbers in my graph which means that these are the wrong shades that I've already gone through. So I'm, you won't see it like this, but you'll see this at like the first one, but I'm gonna change all of them. So if it seems a bit choppy, I'm sorry. Number 20 was the first color that we got and it can, that is a shadow in the Everything You Need Bright Matte Palette by Beauty Bay. And instead of, <laughs> and it is the shade Heat Wave, this beautiful orange shade. Very much like more of a summery tone. The formula on these shadows is, incredible if you're curious the drugstore prices you can get massive palettes with loads and loads of shadows but the shadow formula is just really good that's what that orange looks like really lovely warm toned orange really love it actually well i love this orangey tone shadow number two i'm so excited to be doing this challenge again 39 okay we're all rolling all the alone Shaders. number 39 in my collection comes from the bh cosmetics 1991 eyeshadow palette this is a stunning palette look at that embossing as well the actual shadows in here are incredible as well bh's form uh, bh cosmetics formulation is just incredible um and this is what the tones look like you have your metallic -y, um duochrome almost tones at the top and then you have all your mattes at the bottom the shade number 39 is the shade ritual which is this really interesting like gum metally greeny blue shade i don't really wear these tones that much so i might find this one a little bit difficult Ooh, that feels so creamy in there um i don't wear these tones that much but that is stunning 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 that would be really pretty for like a one shadow look like a dark smoky going out one shadow look i'm not sure how deep these pans are they are quite big like circular pans um so we will see how long it takes to hit pan i feel like it could take a while particularly because of the shade but it is a shimmer which normally means that you move for it a little bit faster so we will see shadow number three i'm so excited if you can't tell 132 our first high number oh i love the green in the background 130 number 132 it comes from my i heart revolution gingerbread palette and it rather ironically is the same shade that i have on my eyes today and today is the first time that i am using this shade and i'm obsessed with it and it is the shade cloves which is a stunning green shade you can see it on my eyes today you can also see it in the pan here i would say it's a little bit lighter on the eyes than it looks in the pan like look at that so smooth so creamy lovely really love that tone i'm not sure about this as like a whole color palette cohesively to wear together but these shades i have been pulling out have been incredible so far <laughs> i love that and i also really want to get more use out of that gingerbread palette as well so i'm really happy that that has been pulled in let's generate a fourth one i might even do five guys i was just gonna do four but i think i'm gonna do five because <laughs> i'm having so much fun which could be dangerous randomize 
80, another low, uh, lower one. And then shade number 80 comes from an oldie but a goodie in my collection. That is the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. This was my first ever high-end purchase that I made myself in Rome. And I'm really excited that this has been rolled in again. Um, I do find these shades take ages to hit pan on, but I do love this palette. I've got two pans in there. It was a go-to for me, like one of my favorites when I first brought this. The shade that we got in here, oh my God, this is not very nice to me now, is it? <laughs> is the shade Earl Grey, which is this one right here. It is, I thought this was going too well. Deep kind of like blue gray. You can see that. Oh, it's got like a, it's got silver flex to it as well. Mm. I'll be honest, I'm not sure about this shade at all. Um, you can see it's like a gunmetally blue with silver reflex, if you can see that. Very interesting. This colour combo is questionable. I think these two would go really nicely together and then maybe this through the crease to warm everything up. That could be a good look. And then this on a lower lash line. But yeah, this is not my favourite tone and... Honestly, out of every single colour in this palette, that's probably the one that I have used least or not even touched at all. So that's impressive that out of this whole palette that I've used and loved so much, this is the one shade that I would probably choose not to pan. Um, but I am excited to see where it goes. And because it's going to encourage me to do like some different looks that incorporate grey, I really don't wear grey on my eyes that often, if at all. And if worse comes to worse, I'll just wear it as an eyeliner always a good solution to darker shades that you're not sure about is to start off by using them as liners um but i do think i could see these two going really well together or these two even so i am excited to see how we go with it it is a shimmer which again normally means that you hit pan on them quicker and easier let's do the fifth and final spin of this i'm a little bit nervous this is our final shade to start off this project number 72 Number 72 comes from the Too Faced Chocolate Bob Ones palette again, but this is the shade Cashew Chew in here instead, which is this one right here. I have a massive dip in this one already, if you can see it. I do have quite a big, decent dip going in here already, so this one should be quite easy, and this is quite a good shade to use every single day um, just to set concealer and things like that. Neutral, cream tone kind of what you would use every day you can't even see the swatch really but i did just swatch it under here it's a little bit more on like the pinky side of things let me like try and swatch it to see if i can get you guys to see it there you go that is what it looks like um i've just used my orange finger to swatch that so you can see a bit of orange in it do you know what i'm happy with that outcome and this one already has quite a big dip in it which means that it could be you know it could have pan on it by the end of February, I'm gonna give myself two months because these pans are deeper than they think, like than they look. They like deeper than you expect them to be. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with this tone generation. I think this is a good one, um, and it's one that I can use with every single shadow that I've just pulled. So yeah, I love that as the final roll. That was a really good one. And this is going to be the color palette for my pan those eyeshadows to start off with. These are all five of the first shades that are going to be generated for this 2023 pan those eyeshadows challenge i was nervous but i think this is so fun like the two pops of color the darker shades the grungier looks i'm loving this com color combination and the neutral tone would be so easy to incorporate into every look so yeah i think that this will be a really interesting one but also a really fun one to play around with and that's what i love about this challenge is it pushes me to use colors that i'm not as confident with like i'm so much more confident wearing these than i am wearing these so this is going to definitely give me time to kind of explore and utilize those darker shades more comfortably and those are all of the eyeshadows that we're going to be starting off this project with this year. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please have a like and subscribe to our channel if you are new into it. I would like to see more videos from me. And I'll catch you guys all in my next one. Bye.